Doll. I get an amulet for my troubles. It's an amulet of mighty fists. Gets a plus one enhancement bonus to attack rolls and weapon rolls with unarmed attacks and natural weapons. So this could go on Amiri since she does use a bite attack sometimes. Uh, well, that was some excitement. Went from zero to a hundred really quick. I also have this sign scroll of raise dead, which should let me raise a dead party member to life. Raise dead also removes the death door condition. Um, so yeah, uh, pretty not great. I'm going to uh, chug these potions real quick. There we go. Good as new. <laughs> Nothing happened. Nothing's wrong. Maybe I'll, I'll go ahead and save. <laughs> Just in case something does go wrong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Onwards. There's nothing wrong at all. Alright, so now we could go back to our kobold friends and tell them that we dealt with the beast. Which is down here. Um We should move. Yeah, that was some incredibly bad luck, <laughs> too. Just want to emphasize that again. Because I, I failed a combat maneuver to be tripped, which is already very difficult. They have to pass a 16, and they only had a plus 2 to their attempt. But they they rolled a 16, an 18 on the die. So. Uh, are we going to enter combat? Nope, we're going to get to slide by. Yeah! Oh, we might enter combat here, though. We will be victorious. Yep. Oh boy, this is a big fight. Oh, it's all oh, 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 oh. We're going to be here for a while. This is what we got to dodge by uh taking the really long way or by taking the athletics check last time. Why can't I charge there? That's a, a straight line. Okay. Let's go after these mites first. Let Valerie stand there. The good thing is the kobolds and the mites will fight each other. So it's not like everyone versus me. How? What? Oh, it's another crit! It's a natural 20. Valerie's armor class is 24. If, if 20s weren't auto crits, it wouldn't have hit. <laughs> oh no. Alright. I think I like this. Oh, those cold ones are gonna mess up. This might. Oh, Miri's able to charge. All right, we got our own crit. Uh, everything's fair in the world. Splat! The splat is so satisfying. I'll try to shoot this mite. Did I hit it? Yeah, dealt one damage. Uh, Tusk, can you get over here? Yeah, you can. Splat! Not a crit. Okay. We're trying to go south, but we're gonna get stuck between these fights. Oh, more mites. Oh, they're so far off the map. Here, let me uh, speed this up. Merle. Yeah, they're pretty, it's pretty much Merlocks are essentially what these two groups are. They're both the Merlocks of this game. 
All right, it's our turn. We could either go north or we could go south. We're trying to go south, so maybe we could just leave this combat if we go far enough. Valerie will slowly make her way this direction. Have a little more movement. Okay. Alright, Harem. Come hang out over here, too. Oh. Can you charge this one? Oh, tight. Splat! Okay, keep going. Alright. Lindsay? Move to here, nothing's in range of days. This is Take a shot. Step in. Big miss. Alright. Oh, his tusks unable to. Nah. Just full move. Slowly approaching. Alright, got there. Stab! Oh! I never. Oh, no. Sorry, one second. Oh. Stop. What is going on? Okay, it's not liking me trying to do something while combat's happening. I forgot to change that I wasn't playing uh, Hearthstone anymore. Apologies. Find a kingmaker. Uh, oh, this is a struggle. Okay. Uh, just no tags. Update. Okay. Close. Feel bad about not updating that sooner. I've uh, tried to make it a point to update. All right, we missed. Your life ebbs low. Got him. Wait, why does Amiri have one health? Wait. with days. Okay. I want... Yeah, I want you to stand right here and hit this mic. Oh! <laughs> Big cleave. Oh. A lot of blood over there. And that one stabbed at us. That one's dazed. Valerie. Hit, but it didn't die. That's fine. Shaman, I'm sure that's not going to hurt us in the long run. Alright, Amiri. Uh, go wreck this sentry. Good. Okay, uh, go ahead and daze this one. Alright, they saved. Move on. Oh, nice cleave. Alright. 
Valerie, come up and try to hit the mite. Nice! Become as dust. They go down. Okay. I think we could just leave the combat if we wanted. Yeah, just leave all the stuff. Yep, combat is finished. Okay. I'm not paranoid, you're paranoid. Alright. Continue the travel over to there. This is my path. Combat's still happening. Uh. Welcome, Peace Zone. Here, no war. No one attack. Only maybe Fat Wolf Lord. He won't chew us. We more sly. Who killed him? Big reward. I've dealt with the wolf leader. Hooray! Great new! Might and Kobold keep live together. No threat. Good for you. Maybe you grow up big hunter like us. Saying this, he gives you a small purse. You receive 283 gold. <laughs> You will bleed, dirty scum. I suppose I'll go. No stopping now. What's this? Oh, there's an elk I didn't loot. There's also loot here. Wait, hold up. Now yeah, let's go take this loot. What are the kobolds gonna do? Attack us? No. Oh, potatoes. Look out, we got potatoes. Oh, we didn't loot this elk. Yeah. It is done. We failed the nature check to skin it, but that's okay. We still have got its meat. Okay. Oh, notice something. Adventures await. No, every everyone. No, no, no. Everyone, 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 everyone. Don't leave me here alone. Uh, what did you see? There's something I wanted to fight us up there? Oh, it's their mobility check to get up there. Uh, I think we could go up the other way. Again, I think this is just multiple ways to try to avoid the conflict that's happening. Follow me. It's like if we don't want to fight kobolds and mites, we could uh, take another route. Oh, we didn't loot all of these ones. Some daggers. Oh, this fight ended. The mites won. Serves you right. Took zero damage. Hippity hoppity, here he comes. Repent. Got him. Cleave! Oh, the cleave did some, but it didn't kill. We can do it. This could go away. Didn't do anything to bring that up. Move over here, none of our spells work. Nice. Good miss. Bring it! Nice. Yeah. 
Excellent. Collect it all. Here Let's I have her drink some more potions. She is not looking too hot. No stopping now. All right. So here's the way up. Kobold Dragon Shaman. A kobold lying in the middle of the patch calls out to you. Judging by his sorry state of scales, he is the eldest of the groups. His red eyes squint from the light, and his throat struggles to form words. Our patch, our celestial radish. Yuck, radishes. We grew up with them back in my village. One day while I was reading a book, my pa grabbed it from me and threw it into a fire. He then made me go pick radishes. It was autumn and the ground was wet and cold and there were worms everywhere. Ugh, filthy roots. Uh, about that radish. The old was kobold lifts his head from the ground and tries to focus his eyes on you. Uh, lawful good, I don't need all of it, but I'll leave half of what I dig out for you. Lawful neutral, I could use diplomacy to say there are enough radishes for everyone. You mustn't forbid others from using what grows freely in the forest. I will dig out as much as I need. Or neutral evil, I could intimidate them. Uh, let's talk about something else. Because I'm more chaotic than anything. What are you doing here? Chew the radish. Search for secret truth. Small and big. The kobold are lying nearby answer with a devout murmur. At least those who aren't sleeping. Huh. Little philosophers, aren't they? I wouldn't expect that. Wouldn't expect. Why don't you join the war against the mites? Might silly, but suits scale also. There are more important things in life. The kobold punctuates his words with a burp, and the others hiss in approval. <laughs> there is no place in these lands for such creatures! <laughs> I'm gonna try trickery. Leave quietly, taking a bucket of moon radishes with you. <laughs> I succeeded! Finding the right moment, you quietly leave the patch with a sizable bunch of radishes in your hands. The kobolds pay you no heed. I received moon radish. What do I do with moon radish? I got a bunch of moon radish. I'm sure it'll be useful sometime. Onwards. Oh, one of these. Alright. It gets to go first, but I got to jump on it. That's fine. What a waste. I know. Strike with all your might. All right. Skin. Nice. We got the skin. All right, and that's the other side of the hill. We would have to make a check to go up, but don't need to do the check. We just did the fighting. Gets us more experience. Oh, and this is a lonely shambling mound. We do not want to fight the Shambling Mound. Let me make this abundantly clear. Do not fight the Shambling Mound at level 2. A lab journal. Went into the woods. Found many roots, pine cones, flowers, and a dead squirrel. Scant little I can't make of that. I must consider where I might gain rare ingredients for my experiments. Some damnable raccoons got into the hut while I was exploring the woods. Broke all the glassware. The only thing left are ten flat bottom glass tubes, five round bottom flasks, a couple of porcelain mortars, three pestles, and a, the precious spiral. A good thing all the pots were still there. So many good chemicals wasted. Shame. Need to lock everything up in the closet. Tried to finish the experiment today. The one I started at the old lab. Use the lead powder from the master's box. At the crystallization stage, the liquid foamed, changed colors, and formed a deposit. Another unsuccessful experiment. And I've all but exhausted my supply of essential materials. Caught a raccoon with a snare trap. Didn't get the bastard into the hut in time. Uh, perhaps I should ask some hunters to help in catching experimental subjects? 
But I must save money. And besides, I see how those bumpkins scowl at me, as if I've grown horns. Third attempt at the crystallization experiment. Broke the last round bottom flask. I recall my tutor calling me ham-handed and making me clean up. Perhaps he was right. But he did teach me much, despite everything. But why didn't he wish me to develop my abilities? Didn't he want me to learn anything beyond the basic potion recipes? Kept saying I wasn't ready, but in truth he feared the student surpassing the teacher, and for good reason. I shall prove this process works. I'll prove it to everyone. Today an old lady came from the nearby village, asking me to make her goats yield more milk. I had to help. I'm in desperate need of money. Oh, why must I spend my time so... Boring, boring, boring! Several pages remain empty, then writing continued. Observation, day one. Finally, I got a chance I can't miss. I found a dying elf in the woods. She was barely breathing, and ants were swarmed all over her. Who is she? What happened to her? It matters not. This is the opportunity I've been waiting for. With great effort, I managed to drag her to the hut, remove her clothes, and hide her behind the bags in the corner. Enough wasting my talents on trifles. It's time for action. I used the largest glass tube from the master's box, the one with the warning, in case of contact with skin, wash off immediately. Ha! The doddering parrot of all standard warnings. I spread it evenly over her body and began my observations. Observation Day 3. The subject has survived. I had to tie her up and gag her. The moaning could attract unwanted attention. Her skin is changing, but it's hard to determine the precise character of these changes. The early stages of festering, perhaps? The treated areas do smell faintly. Observation Day 5. The changes continue faster and faster. The epidermis is festered away. The joints are grown swollen, tough, and calloused. And the subject has a fever. Observation Day 9. Over the past few days, the subject's legs began covered with mildew and moss. Her fingers and toes grow long and crooked, as though she would grow into the ground? I shall move the subject outside. The experiment now demands sunlight. Observation Day 13. The body's changes are so significant it's impossible to recall the creature's original appearance from the way it looks now. A seething growth covers the whole body surface. Every day I find new kinds of moss, mildew, grass, and other plants. The subject attempts to move, had to immobilize her. I try to make contact, but she utters inarticulate sounds, alike to howling. Might intelligence be restored at further stage of regeneration? Observation Day 18. The subject has grown larger, several times. She is now strangely quiet these last few days. I'm beginning to worry. In the end, I see I've become attached to her. She will make me famous! Observation Day 25. My living experiment sows all signs of obedience. She is much like a little tree, a magnificent walking tree. She is already eight feet tall, and the child keeps growing. I wish to give her space, more fresh air, and sunlight. I suspect we shall see some fertilizer. For now, I only walk her around the woods on a leash. This is the greatest achievement of my career. Soon we'll be ready for a journey to Absalom, and there I will present my masterpiece. I must think of a name for my girl. So, yeah, this person's real messed up. Really messed up. This was an elf. And this person basically uh, took someone and made her into a shambling mound. Um, this light armor, it's 5 AC. Um, four max decks, two max decks. She only has one max decks, so that doesn't make much of a difference. So no one to use the chain shirt yet. So stopping now. A shambling mound is a very difficult creature to fight, and I think it would be unwise to try to fight it right now. Uh, if you really want to see me get wrecked, I could save the game and then try to fight it to kind of show you what I'm talking about. But otherwise, I think I'm going to leave it alone. It's not hurting anyone. Onwards. Do it!
All right, chat. Let me save the game. Because this, this will permakill my character. I have very little doubt. I would have to get incredibly lucky. All right. Dust. Put her out of her misery. All right. You aren't scared, are ya? I am. I I should have gotten closer before this fight started. All right, Valerie. Get close. All right. Oh, I'm so low resource too. Uh. I'm not gonna have you charge in. I'm gonna have you flank off this way. And we're gonna wait. We have to take some strategy here. Uh, same with you, Tusks. I don't think the thing knows I'm attacking it yet. Um. Alright, now it will. I hit it. The poor thing. Wishes. Look how much health it still has. Uh, oh, we missed. Oh, sh she's dead. Survive. Hit with a slam. <laughs> Got a plus 11 to hit. Oh. First it did a slam. It does 2d6 plus 5. It missed Valerie. Okay, we hit it. It's big damage, big damage. Um, perfect. All right, she's alive. Oh, Valerie, why do you miss? Okay. Um, do you have anything else you could use? I don't think days could be used on this creature. May I suggest another way to use oh. this spell? Okay. Uh, never mind. Just shoot it. Oh, big crit! Good job, Lindsay. All right. Um. If I stand up, this thing's just gonna hit her again. Um, oh, I can't use anything on her bar if I don't stand up. Does, oh, she doesn't have anything on her bar because I didn't put the potions back there. Alright. Don't worry, this is totally legal. Definitely not cheating. Uh, this is fine. Uh, no! Oh! I accidentally clicked! Oh! Much longer. Oh! Oh, you hit Valerie? Oh, you did a grapple? Oh, no. How did you hit? Oh, you rolled a 17. You missed with the first one, because you rolled a 13 and missed. You rolled a 17 and hit. And then you grappled? Then did oh no! All right, big damage. Oh, we missed. Ah. Uh. Oh, she's so far negative. Oh, she's so in the negatives. Okay. Come on, Valerie. Oh, we missed. Not having a Miri is, is really bad. Oh no. Oh, she was poisoned. Oh, she's dead. Oh, I'm at zero. But I'm an orc. Oh, why aren't you close enough? What's on your belt? Scroll of Bane? Oh, we should have used that. Bane. What? What just happened? No! Stop! What? What was that?
scrolls take a full action, don't they? Yeah. Use magic missiles. And run as far away as you can, Lindsay. Yep, that's good. Uh, oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Alright, load last save. I might actually be able to win this fight. I have to get a little bit lucky, but I think I can. If I came in with all of my resources, I definitely could. So I just need, like, rest for a day. Come back at full health. Alright, it's... It's the goal now. We're camping for the night. Coming back at full strength. Alright, manage this. I think everyone's in the right spot. Plus 6, plus 11, plus 8. Yep. Okay. Begin resting. Someday, I'll write a play about our adventures. And you'll have one of the main parts. Then we'll see if there's at least one actress brave enough to go on stage and impersonate me. Knowing that I'll be sitting in the front row. So hard to cook a good meal. Nice, we didn't even get ambushed in the night. Okay. It is dark. Let's let's get it this time. I have time to organize my my I'm characters. So we'll get Valerie up here in front. Um, we move. We'll move tusks to the back. Well. Uh Amiri will start over here and charge in. Um, actually, everyone needs to gather up to start. So I need Harem to cast plus before we go in. Okay. And now... Oh, no. Everything's bungled. Alright. You go here. Everyone else get here. Well, it's not what I wanted to do, but, you know, here we go. Okay. Start playing your song. It's good. Charge in! It's go time! We got eight rounds of rage, too, now, so... Hopefully she won't be dying. Uh, we've got scrolls. we got the scroll of Bane. Uh, which he can't do this turn, but he'll do it next turn. And then I'm gonna start. Actually, let's use the scroll of summon monster. Summon a monster to help attack. Dang, we got a hit! I'm immediately dead! <laughs> what? How many times did it hit me? Hit me with a slam. 16 damage. T grappled me. Dealt 8 damage. I died. <laughs> hit Amiri with the slam. Grappled Amiri. Amiri took 12 damage. She's almost dead. <laughs> oh no. Okay, we, we can't do this one. I should have saved after we rested. What I should have done. Oh, I have uh, orc recklessness, so I'm still alive. That's good. That's good. Everything's fine. Oh, we're doing so much damage. Bane. Oh, it's immune to Bane. Oh, no. Oh, get up there. Be ready to heal tusks. All right, Lindsay. Magic missiles. Come on. Let's get it. Oh, three. Is three not enough? Is it not dead? 
Uh-oh. No! The poison damage! Two new legends dropped today. Last one's Druid and Warrior Paladin. Oh, I'll have to take a look at it. Alright, let's load the last save. Oh, what in doubt save. Okay, so we... If we got incredibly lucky, we could take on the Shambling Mound. But the Shambling Mound is way above our current pay grade. Oh, it did auto-save after we rested. Cool. 